Hi all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for tuning in as always. I just want to say before I go any further, if I look a little bit ropey this morning, I do, because last night I was at a dance exhibition in Ipswich. It was excellent. I managed to go. I got my photo taken with MVG, which I was really pleased about. Rob Cross was there. Ryan Meikle was there. Um, Vincent van der Voort, Steve West... James Hubbard. It was a really, really, really good night. I did have a few too many beers, so if I'm looking a bit ropey, I do apologise. But I'm here this morning, as promised, back to cover the World Championships schedule and my predictions for the championship. The only difference is I've got a split and headache. So, as you can see, I've got the fixtures here. Um, so this is day two of the World Starts Championship from the Ali Pali. It starts from 7pm again. The only difference from the first day is the second day has actually got a prelim game. Now, the prelim game is the best of three sets, not four. And the winner of that first game will go on to play Rob Cross in the last game. So I'm going to run you through... Um, the fixtures and my predictions as always don't put any money on them because i'll probably be miles out and what i'm loving about these predictions is guys loads of comments yesterday i love it if you add comments and go back i know but one guy actually commented and he actually had three different not just results but three different winners out of the four games to what i said it's all part of the fun it's all good and it'll be interesting to see who's right and wrong afterwards so i'm going to move on to the first game so the first game is the prelim game and that's between seiko azada i think it is versus gordon mathers now the reason you can see the two question marks is because I know nothing about either of these players. I think I might have seen them play on the odd occasion, but I don't know enough who is better out of the two to go through to face Rob Cross in the later rounds. So if you guys know or can give me some tips on this, please leave them in the comments below because I'd be interested to know a little bit about more about them before the first um, game. So yeah, just leave your comments below on that. After that one, we then go on to Stephen Bunton versus against Dimitri Vanderberg. Now this one was really, really difficult for me to choose because I think Dimitri's played awesome over the last, um, especially over the last few tournaments. He's obviously just won the World June or the World Youth Championship um, not long back. He's played brilliant. He's beat Barney He's recently on telly. He is very, very dangerous. But I think that Stephen Bunton really he is better than what he was. He's, he's, he's starting to get back to where he was a few years ago. And he needs a good World Championship. And I think, I don't know what it is, I think he's just going to have the edge. And I think that Stephen Bunton will come through this one 3-2. So there we go. We're moving on to the next one now. We've got Phil Taylor against Chris Doby. Now, I covered this one in one of my other videos because I think this is a really, really bad draw for Taylor. Yes, you can see by the result what I've gone for. I think Taylor will come through this one. 3-1. Doby obviously has done well in his last TV tournament, so he's going to have a little bit of confidence. It could be a danger match for Taylor. Taylor cannot afford to lose this. Taylor can't go out after all he's done in his career or in, in the first round of the World Championship. He just couldn't do it. I don't think he would be able to live with that. I think it's how he'd be remembered. I think he's going to have a run in the championship, and I think that he will put Doby aside 3-1. We then go on to the final match of the night, and that is obviously Rob Cross here, who I see last night. Um, um, against either Azada or Mathers from the prelim game. Now, the reason I've gone 3-0 for Rob Cross is I think he's probably the second best player in the world at the moment. I actually think he's even good enough to challenge and beat MVG. Them two were together in a final last night. MVG, obviously it was just an exhibition. MVG did win 4-3 with a big checkout. But Cross is a danger man. MVG do have that fear of Cross. Regardless of what anybody say, this is just my personal opinion, I think that Cross, I think, sorry, that, that MVG knows that Cross has the game to beat him. So, just going back to this other game, I think that Cross is going to be really dangerous in this tournament, and whoever had been there, I would have probably put it 3-0. So these are my predictions and schedule for um, day two of the World Championships. Again, it's on Friday, December the 15th, um, starts at 7 p.m., don't miss it. It's going to be a really good evening of darts. I can't wait. As always, if you like my videos, please leave a like. Don't forget to turn your notifications on because each time I do another video, you'll get notified. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, look forward to your comments below. I'll get back. Always do. It's been a pleasure. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.